Hey guys, this is Mega iPhone Reviews, and today we have an iPad unboxing, and I don't want to do too much iPad content on this channel unless you guys want that, but I really wanted to do this unboxing because this is a really special case. So this comes from Tim Angel, his company is Zugi, or Zugu, I'm not really sure what he wants to call that really, but Z-O-O-G-U-E, can't really get that on camera too well, but basically what he did is he vlogged his entire journey to China from the day he got his plane ticket to the day he left China and what he did is he went to China to create an iPad case um, I believe it was right as the iPad came out or right before the iPad came out he d went to design this um, I actually found out about him because he was a sub subscriber and I saw his name was Zugi Broke to Rich so check him out in the description below Zugi Broke to Rich if you want to see his vlogs even if you don't have an iPad it's just interesting to see what goes on really and he basically vlogged his entire journey to China and showed us um, basically what it does, what it takes to get the uh, an iPad case designed. So let's get into this, and I've heard amazing things about this case. So let's open it up. Let's cut this open. And so, like I said, even if you don't have an iPad, it might be worthwhile to check out his channel just to see what he did. Because it's really amazing. So there you go. Okay. So this is basically what's inside. So you have a little instruction manual, I guess, on how to use it. So you can set it at any angle. Adjustable headset mount. That's real cool. You can tape it or wrap it around a headset and use it as a um, car movie player. So it has really nice packaging. Reminds me a lot like the monster cable packaging. So it's magnetic, open to view. So wow, this is really nice packaging. It says any angle, any time. So let's get into this. Let me just put all this stuff off to the side real quick. And here we have the iPad 64 gigabyte 3G model. And so let's open this up and put the iPad in it. Move all this off. Okay, so first impressions. It's a real light leather case, and let me just take this stuff out of here. How does it even get in here? I see. So it has a little clip. It has a little clip right here. You unclip it, and I guess you slide the iPad right in. So let me put my iPad in. So like I said, this is a really light um, leather case. Most leather cases are kind of heavy. This one is actually real light, so I put it in and I snap it in. So now it's secure. Shouldn't have any problems with it falling out. And it looks ex it looks pretty nice. It's just that basically it looks like a standard iPad case at first. Has a leather lining, which feels really nice in the hand. It actually, actually has this little cutout right here, which most... Let me just zoom in there. Right here. As you can see, there's that little cutout. And what that actually is, is a cutout so you can get the light sensor. So if you have auto brightness on, it will automatically adjust. I've seen a leather case that covered the top completely. So your auto brightness won't work. So if you're going to travel a lot or not use this indoors all the time, you don't want to get a leather case that covers it completely over the top. If that's something that will bother you. So your home button is completely exposed. Your corners are open. There's a single cutout for your entire speakers. Let me just focus that. Then you have the dock connector open. Um, corner at the top is open, completely exposed. Basically, the entire top of the iPad is basically exposed. Then you have your power switch open. So you you have all full access to all your ports and everything you need, really. Um, but basically, this... Oh, what is this over here? Oh, so here's the stand, I guess. It's a real complicated case these at first, I guess. So look at that. Any angle. So you can actually adjust it to any angle because it is Velcro right here. So really anything. So let's try another angle. Let's try right over here. And it seems like it will be pretty stable. I'm just going to do a quick test.
So it looks really a really stable stand. So you should have no problems with, with this stand whatsoever. Um, leather case, amazing stand. I really like this stand actually. So I guess how did I get that? Hmm, I forget how I got that in actually. So then you have the head strap right here. Headset strap. So it's once again Velcro. So really you could just strap this onto something. I'm just seeing if there's anything I could strap this onto. Maybe a no a pillow would be too big. Well I don't really have anything to demonstrate with, but really you just strap it along and you could use it as like a movie stand or even as a as a um, holder, I guess. Not bad. So Really, I don't know much about the iPad enough to do a full review yet. I will have a full review, and if you guys want to see more iPad videos, let me know. As for now, I'm not going to do too many unless you guys want that. Um, so this is the Zugi case. comes from a company called Zugi. Um, check out his YouTube channel, Zugi Broke to Rich. I'll have a link for that as well. And this is a real awesome case. First impressions, probably the best iPad case I've seen. And so this is Mega iPhone Reviews. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe. Let me know what you guys think. Check out his channel. Leave him a comment. Whatever. Follow him on Twitter. Check out his website, Zugi.com. Um, I think this is $50. I'm not 100% sure. I'll have that come down somewhere over here. And so this is Mega iPhone Reviews. And uh, thanks.